are you wearing? Um, it's, it's the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> Beneath the sky be gathered into one place so dry ground may appear. And so it was. God named the dry ground land and the water the seas. God saw that it was good. <laughs> then God said, Let the land burst forth with every sort of grass and seed bearing plant. And let there be trees that grow seed bearing fruit. The seeds will then produce the kind of plants and trees from which they came. <laughs> and so it was, the land was filled with seed bearing plants and trees, and their seeds produced plants and trees of the like kind. Oh, you would have yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam's apple drop right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> then God said it was good. This all happened on the third day. <laughs> and God said, let bright lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. They will be signs to mark off the seasons, the days, and the years. Let their light shine down upon the earth, and so it was, for God made two great lights, the sun and the moon, to shine down upon the earth. <laughs> the greater one, the sun, presides during the day, and the lesser one, the moon, presides through the night. He also made the stars. <laughs> God set these lights in the heavens to, to govern the day and the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God thought it was good. This all happened on the fourth day. <laughs> and God said, Let the water swarm with fish and other life. God! <laughs> Let the skies too early. be filled with birds of every kind. So God created sea, great sea creatures of every sort, of fish, of every kind of bird, and God saw that it was good. Then God blessed them, saying, Let the fish multiply and fill the oceans. Let the birds increase and fill the earth. <laughs> this all happened on the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth every kind of animal, livestock, small animals, and wildlife. And so it was. <laughs> God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock, and small kind of animals, each able to reproduce more of its own kind. <laughs> and God saw that it was good. 
Then God said, let us make people in our image to be like ourselves. <laughs> They will be masters over all life, the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the livestock, wild animals, and small <laughs> So God created people in his own image. God patterned them after himself, male and female. He created them. <laughs> God, blessed. God blessed them and told them, multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. <laughs> be masters over the fish and birds and all the animals. Then God said, you should go have tea and crumpets. <laughs> Just kidding. He said, look, I have given you the seed-bearing plants throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food. And I have given all the grasses and other green plants to the animals and the birds for their food. And I, let's see, and it, so it was. Then God looked over all he had made and saw that it was excellent in every way. This happened on the sixth day. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, having finished this task, God rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from his work of creation. This is the account of the creation of the heavens and the earth. Yeah.